to Jesus I'll praise and worship I'll bring to him all glory all glory and honor forget about whatever thing that you come to church with. I need you to lay them at the cross of cover this morning as we worship the King of glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. Portion in the land of the living, oh, yeah. the Lord is good forevermore. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is, the Lord is good. Lord is good. this morning. Even in the land that we live, in our company, in our home, the Lord is our portion. Hallelujah. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. On the mountain, in the valley, on the land, and in the sea. Hallelujah. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is the Lord is good forevermore. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. The Lord is good forevermore. Oh, yeah, give it to Jesus this morning. Give it to Jesus this morning. Shake the body that Jesus gave you this morning. The joy of the Lord is our strength this morning. Aha. Hey! Okay. 
Jesus, they break me down. I go to smile. I go to smile. I go to smile. Smile, smile, smile. Oh. I just they tell them, say, now nah, Jesus, they break me. People, they ask me. People, they ask me, say, now where did they make you from? Where did I do tell them? I just they tell them, say, now nah, Jesus, now nah, Jesus, they break me. Packaging our building offering, and if you want to do transfer or you want to write a check, write in favor of RCCG Praise Tabernacle Project. And our account number is 101-6615945. 101-6615945. And the bank we use is Zenith Bank. Before we take our offering, Acts chapter 20, verse 35 says. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Because in the first instance, God has given you. So even what you are giving back to God is what God has, what has given unto us. So it's blessed for us to give than for us to, to receive. And I pray as we give unto God this morning, he's going to multiply it in hundredfold for us in the name of Jesus. Please, let's rise up on our feet. Choir.
For the grace you've given unto us this morning to be able to bring into your sanctuary. Father, we say be the exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray towards this offering. Father, you sanctify it in the name of Jesus. Father, you multiply it in hundredfold for us in the name of Jesus. Father, you bless the works of our hands in the name of Jesus. We pray that you build your sanctuary for us in the name of Jesus. We pray from the beginning to the end, Father, you have your way in the name of Jesus. We cover this offering with the blood of Jesus. For in Jesus' most precious name we've prayed. Hallelujah. Praise Master Jesus. Can we just welcome somebody by our side of the church this morning and say you are welcome to this service? Uh, if the person is not smiling, can you talk to somebody else and say you are welcome to today's service? Amen. You know, with the way we frown our face, it seems to be as if uh, we are not happy giving building nothing. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Uh, it is a thing of joy always to find ourselves in the presence of the Lord. But as I enjoy this morning, uh, I want to appreciate the pastorate for giving me this uh, honor and uh, privilege to uh, anchor this meeting this morning. Can you please help me join your hands together as we celebrate our Father in our midst? Our Father, we say, uh, we celebrate you. We thank you for sharing fellowship with us. We say your name alone. Be glorified. And uh, in this same honor, can we please be on our feet as we rise up and praise the Lord this morning? Just lift your voice and say, Father, we thank you. Say, Father, we thank you. Father, we thank you. Father, we give you praise. Ancient one ever true, changing me and changing you. We have come with broken hearts. Oh, let the ancient one be back. Just worship this Almighty God. Say, Father, I thank you. Say, Father, I thank you. Le conse le cobara casco pele desinates. He live in cate, se le go pariana se le movena halia. Zatete se le compata salia. Father, we say thank you. Glorious God, we give you praise. We thank you for our life. We thank you for what you have done for us. We thank you for you are the awesome wonder. There is none to be compared to thee. If not for you, O Lord, what has the enemy would have said about us? If not for you, even our country would have begun by now. Father, we say thank you. Father, we say thank you. O Lord, my God, when I'm in awesome wonder, consider all the walls thy hands has made. Salakapalaton Seliatesha. I see the stars. I see the stars. I see the stars. I see the stars. The universe is made. This is my soul. This is my soul. My Savior, God, to thee. 
valiantes e le consale a valatesa. How great thou art! How great thou art! This is my soul. Sataliate se le copaliadesa. Zefeliate pe le gonsaliande fariande. How great thou art! You see that this morning, I'd just like you to pray this prayer. I say, Father, help me to live my life to reflect your praises and glory here on earth. Say, Father, help me to live my life to reflect your glory and your praise here on earth. I refuse to be that the last day when I appear before the king, the king will say, Behold, I know you not. Help me, Father. 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 Le kroton sala kabala tese le kons. Heaven yates le kevin yates. Father, we say thank you. Father, we give you glory. Father, we know even if we have much all over our body, it won't be enough to say thank you. Even if you have given us a thousand years just to thank you for a second, it won't be enough. But we want accord in all humility. We have come to you as a church this morning. We have come to you as a family to say thank you. Father, above all, we pray that you accept our thanks and you accept us. You make us a sacrifice unto thee. Glory to your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. You may please be seated. Uh, can you please help me celebrate the rooted voices? God bless you. You are wonderful. You know, in most times, if I'm standing here and the rooted voices are standing by me, uh, there are most cases, you just see me, I will begin to roar. But the time given to me this morning, I won't be able to roar. Amen. So I will just stay within uh, my limit. And that this be the last day of the help weekend. And we'll be talking about kingdom investment. Kingdom investment. So many of our preachers have actually spoken about this particular topic. And today we bring it to conclusion. I will also just run through it. Even as we continue the service shortly. Can we please open our Bible to the book of Matthew chapter 6 from verses 31 to 34. Matthew chapter 6 from verses 31 to 34. Kingdom investment. Matthew 6 from verses 31 to 34. If you are there, read, say, Therefore do not worry, saying, What shall we eat? For what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? Verse 32. For after all these things... The Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows that you need these things. Verse 33. But seek first the kingdom of God. This, and, and, okay, please seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added to you. Verse 34, the last verse. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow. For tomorrow will worry about this own thing. Sufficient for a day is its own trouble. Can you talk to somebody? Say, do not worry about tomorrow. So do not worry about tomorrow. Amen. Uh, as, a, uh, as a way of, uh, let me just follow our manner here. Kingdom investment, if you look at it very well, it consists of two words. We have kingdom and we have investment. Kingdom and investment. So at the end of this particular meeting, we will be able to uh, answer some certain question. What is the kingdom? And the other one, what kingdom are we talking about? Because we know for sure we have so many kingdoms. And if you don't know this particular kingdom to invest in, you might be investing in the very wrong kingdom. And the last one, what is investment? Praise God. So as at the end of this, you just grab us if I can get, even if I don't have much time to do it, you can see the media maybe if they can help you with the manner tool. What is the kingdom? A layman definition, a kingdom is a region or a territory or a domain governed by a king. A kingdom has its own constitution or body of law. You know, one thing there is that it's a domain, which means a particular territory. It has its own kings. For it to have its own king, which means there is a throne in that kingdom. Hallelujah. Praise God. 
And these rules and, and the constitution or the body of law will specify or define duties or rights and privileges of all her subjects. Kingdom has a geographical location. That's why a king of Ogobo now cannot go to Okwanja to begin to exercise authority over there. But we have a king in heaven who has authority over all the affairs of men on earth. Can you celebrate God for that? So as I move further, which kingdom are we talking about in particular? Remember I told you earlier, we have so many kingdoms. We have the kingdom of God. We have the kingdom of darkness. Under the kingdom of darkness, we have the marine kingdom. Under marine kingdom, we have the, maybe those ones that are fish, the snake, whatever, what, what have you. In this kingdom of darkness, we, the Ekan Khan, the Ogoni, Shang, there are so many. Praise God. So if you don't know the kingdom we are talking about, you might be uh, investing in the marine kingdom, thinking you are investing in the kingdom of God. So this morning, we are concerned with the kingdom of God. Praise Master Jesus. The kingdom of God talks about the reign and the supremacy of the kingdom of heaven, where God's throne, power, and resource abide. So we are talking about the kingdom of God, which means we are actually trying to partner with the highest king. We are trying to partner with the king whose supremacy rules over the earth. You know, in a generation whereby you can't trust anybody, even if you invest anywhere, your money you will have in the bank, you are not even sure if that money is saved. Some time ago, I heard about a man who went to ATM. He got there, he withdrew, he checked his balance, said his money is still in this ATM. So he withdrew all the money from the ATM. <laughs> I went to the bank to deposit his money. Why? Because it's not so that place is safe. So why we are being told to invest in the kingdom of heaven is because there are certain things on. In fact, this level or this realm we find ourselves is no longer safe for us anymore. Though it's safe, you can do it there. But if you do not have a way to partner your own life here on earth to the kingdom of heaven, when you get to the eternity, you discover that life you live here on earth actually was a waste. Praise Master Jesus. So one of the major advantages of being partner with this kingdom is that he has supremacy over the earth. The king of this kingdom is the only king that can exercise his authority over every other kingdom. Praise Master Jesus. Amen. So what is investment then? If you're talking about the kingdom, so since we know that the kingdom uh, is a particular geographical location as per se, then we know we are talking about the kingdom of God. What then is investment? I say investment is engaging activities that is expected to yield return, usually much more than what was invested. You know, for example, if I say, okay, uh, I need money now, the, 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 the trendy one now is real estate. So I, I'm putting this certain amount into real estate. I'm not just putting it to say, help me hold my money. No, I'm putting it there so that it will read return for me. The return is not, uh, I put 500 million, uh, I'm expecting to get 500 million. No, 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 no. If I put 500 million, I should be expecting. It is insane for any man to invest in what we know is return. And no man on his own right mindset will actually invest what we know is return for him. Hallelujah. Praise God. Return of this kingdom investment are determined by God. And the approach by which the investor approach God. Praise Master Jesus. The returns is actually determined by God. You know, before you invest now, let me say it's a complaint. Actually, they will open a profile for you. Uh, some might call it know your customer anyway but in this kingdom it is called what? know your God you have to know your God once they open it they know what you are doing but before you invest you will try to check their track record let it not be that you invest in real estate tomorrow today tomorrow they back off you will now be coming to church and be sharing tears during worship it's real estate not God it's real estate you invested on your money is actually gone praise master Jesus so <laughs> hallelujah Praise God. Just pardon me about that. It is important that we invest in the kingdom of God because that is the only safest place. The Bible was speaking in the book of Matthew from 6 to read verse 6 and from verse 19. He was telling us that we should invest our treasure in heavens where the thief can neither break nor steal. So he is proof of that to say, where your treasure is, there will your heart be. Which means investing in the kingdom of God will actually position your heart. That is to say, you know for sure this thing I'm doing now has an eternal relevance. Even when bread is taken away, even when these things are gone, that I have, I'm waiting for me, what? A clown of glory, just as Apostle Paul have said. If everything we achieve here on earth do not have an eternal relevance, which means our life on earth here will become a waste. Material possession actually became relevant because man fell. From the beginning, sir, man doesn't need a car. From the beginning, man doesn't need the house. He was self-sufficient. But it was when man fell that everything we are chasing today on this earth became relevant. 
you might attain the higher, uh, the, the greatest, in, uh, what is this called, in education. You might have as much as you have. But when this breath is withdrawn, when you got into the time when, uh, you, in fact, your life is not measured by what you do now, it's what you have done before, what you are invested. If it happened to be you do not connect your works here to the kingdom, this particular kingdom, then it would have been good that such a man never existed. Hallelujah. So ways to invest in this kingdom. So since now that we know in this kingdom of God, okay, I know since it is very, very safe. So how can I invest in this particular kingdom we are talking about? Is anybody that want to invest this morning? Hallelujah. Before that, can you just ask your neighbor, what are you investing in this kingdom? Have you invested in this kingdom? Amen. So one of the ways we can actually invest in this kingdom, one of it is by prayer. Hallelujah. Say to somebody, say prayer. Say prayer. So, you know, you cannot experience the kingdom of God without prayer. It is a dual mode of communication. It was during prayer Abraham received from God. God remember not through the prayer of who? Abraham. So there is never a way you can keep prayer out of kingdom investment. To some of us, we are existing today, we are actually being in the right path because somebody has actually seated to intercede for us. We are doing what we are doing today. You say, I will not do this again. You don't know why things are happening for you because somebody has actually interceded for you. So we can't do this kingdom investment without prayer. He said, prayer of the saints, what are sent to heavens, which means there is a thing in heaven which the prayer of the saints will actually do. The other one is what? Fasting. You know, in this kingdom, there are certain things you will do. When you stop praying, a prayer is not doing it. You can add fasting to it. That was why the Bible was speaking in the book of Mark, Matthew chapter 17, verse 21. They brought a certain man to Jesus Christ. We have been trying to hate this man. It's not working. What did you just say? He said, this kind. Which means there are other kind that we go without, fast, without fasting. There are other kind that we go on it all. But there are some certain kind that need fasting. Hallelujah. If I would be say, praise the Lord. The third one, again, that we can see how we can actually partner with this kingdom is by giving. You know, giving for so everybody knows when what it takes to give. It's just that the hardness of our heart that when we are told to give, we find it difficult. For sure, you know that this you are to give. If you see a madman on the way, you will feel the compassion. Ah, I was supposed to give to this person. No, you don't have it. Whenever you see something going on, there's a spirit that will tell you, do this thing, do this thing, do this. For sure, that spirit is always in us. Because if we are of God, and God himself is a giver, if that spirit is not in you, you are not of God. So for sure, this spirit is always with us. Hallelujah. There was a man in the book of Acts, Acts 10, verses 4. It was Cornelius. The point came that God, this man at first, he, was, he never had the revelation of Christ. It was his arm and his prayer that ascend to heaven as memorial. Because of that particular thing he was giving now, which means he was not just giving it in vain. The thing was stored somewhere in heaven for him. When God saw him, who is this person? He discovered that this person don't even have the knowledge of Christ. So you have to send him to who? To Peter. Praise Master Jesus. So any opportunity you have to give, please do it diligently. You are actually investing in the kingdom of God. So investing in the word of God. You know, the Bible was speaking in the book of Joshua, chapter 1, verse 8. It said, this book of the law shall not depart from the mouth, but you shall meditate therein day at night. There is a part where you have to study the word. There is a part where it comes to meditation. Because it's the meditation of the word that will help you to stand within the evil days. If you took a towel or put a towel inside water, for example, when you began to press that towel, what will come out is water. So if you have enough word of God in you, when circumstances of life come around to press you, what will comfort is the word of God. When fear comes to you and hits you, say no. No, 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 no. I cannot be what? Afraid of these things. When hopelessness come you say no 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 christ in me what the hope of glory but when you don't have those words with you imagine a demon appear with you sir appear in the road you are going somewhere you will now be telling demon that's enough for the kids. my brother you are a joker because you don't have sufficient word in you praise master jesus hallelujah pardon me even as i began to round off quickly the, third, the last one i will talk about doing good and engaging the work of mercy doing good and engaging the work of mercy in Acts of the Apostle chapter 10, verses 36 to 46, talks about Dorcas. When Dorcas died, sir, though the Bible recorded that he was, she was part of the disciples, when she died, it was her good work that made the people around to call it 
I said, this particular woman cannot die. No, no, no. This is what she has done for me. So if she goes now, who will do this thing? There's another man called Hezekiah in 2 Kings 20 from verses 1 to 6. When God said to him, put your house in order, you will surely die. He said, Lord, you know how I have walked before you. That was what actually brought him. That, that particular single statement added 15 years to his life. So this morning, if you have actually been walking with God, you have been walking, but your walk is not actually straight with God. Or you have been doing it, you have been doing it ingloriously. You have to set your way right this morning. Because the Bible was speaking in the book of 1 Corinthians 3, verse 13. It says, every work shall be one, shall be tested, and it shall be revealed with fire. My question to you this morning is that your work and your service with God, can it actually stand the test of fire? I, I, have you even wondered why is it that many will come to Christ? You say, I hid the sick. I went out for evangelism. The all-knowing God will tell you, I knew you not. How is it possible? It was because your works on earth was never reflecting in heaven. Imagine now, just let me round off with this. In this kingdom, Ogombo, you don't know the king, sir. One of the things you will face, you want, you want to give an establishment, all the Omonile, all the Akberu, they will finish you. Because you are not connected to the root. You are not connected to the, in fact, the source of this particular land. One, if you also take your mind back to uh, Adam's, when Adam fell from the Garden of Eden, sir, nature fight, fought against Adam because he was disconnected from the king. So are you here this morning? You know for sure that uh, the way you started before is no longer working that way before. That you started so good before, in, but in this part you are now, it seems to be as if things are not going well. Can you just bow our head and talk to God this moment? Say, Father, help me. Father, help me. Father, help me in this kingdom. Help me that I we invest rightly. Help me that I will invest. Help me not to invest in vain things. Help me, Lord, that even in the place yonder when breath is taken from me, that there will be works of my hand that will be able to speak for me even at the end of time. Glory to your holy name, Abba Father. In Jesus' name we have prayed. As I, uh, as I run of this morning, say, Father, help me and take away every loophole in my service to God. Every loophole in my service to God, every force that has been in my service to God, Father, help me and take them away today. Can you cry to God and say, Father, help me. Father, help me. Take away every loophole. Take away everything in my service to God. Go ahead and tell God to take away every form of loophole. Tell him to take it away. Tell him, tell him to take it away. In the name of Jesus. Let's stretch for our hand to our brother this morning and let's begin to ask God to continue to oppose him. Let's ask God for fresh fire. Let's ask God for depth revelation. Let's ask God that this he has done this day will not stand against him. Let's ask God that God himself will uphold him in the name of Jesus. Faithful one of Israel, we thank you for whom you are. Thank you for how far you have used your son this day. We ask, O oh Lord, that you continually use him in the name of Jesus. Mighty one of the universe, according to your word in Psalm 46, verse 1, we ask, O oh Lord, that you continually be his refuge in the name of Jesus. You will strengthen him. And above all, in the days of trouble, you will come true for him. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. I want to give my tithe. I've transferred my tithe. Can you please step forward? Titus in the house. You want to do a transfer, please do it to 101-586-5372. Titus in the house, come step forward. You're doing the transfer. The network has not allowed you. You can also join. You have transferred before now. You can also join. Go ahead and begin to send that Titan Aaron this morning. Speak concerning it. Ask God to breathe into that which you do. Ask God to visit the work of your hand. Ask God that this, it will come a new dimension in your investment in the name of Jesus. Ask God that this I have done this day, count it unto righteousness for me in the name of Jesus. Mighty one of the universe, we ask, oh Lord, that concerning this one, you'll visit what the work of their hand in the name of Jesus. Lord, this investment, you'll come true for them. And this one will yield bountiful harvest to them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. And the people of God will shout aloud, louder, Amen. Amen.
Quickly, let's be on our feet this morning. Remember, we just finished a sermon now that speaks about kingdom investment. And one of the ways that you can invest in this kingdom is by giving. Remember, the analysis was so clear that even a primary school student will understand. It is not about you. It is about the nudging from that God that is a giver. Do you have that spirit in you this morning? You might have been doing it the way you feel before now. But today, have a change of heart. Do it the way that it will bring return to you. Let's be on our feet this morning and let's give diligently and cheerfully in the name of Jesus. You can also do your transfer to 101 586 Sufficient God, Agunu Reo, Aye, 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 Aye. Psalm 81 verse 16. It shall have fed also them also with the fineness of wheat and with honey out of the rock shall I have satisfied thee. Go ahead and tell the Lord this morning. Lord, by the reason of my investment this day, feed me with the fineness of wheat. The kind of honey that will come from my rock. Lord, let it satisfy me and my household. Speak to him this morning. He said, declare it in and it shall be established as you declare. So you will experience the return in the name of Jesus. Mighty one of the universe, we use our offering as a point of contact in, in kingdom investment this day. Let it please you. That you will feed us and our household with fineness of wheat in the name of Jesus. You will satisfy us beyond human comprehension. Do it, O Lord, and let your name alone be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's be seated in his presence and listen to the following announcement. By the grace of God, next Sunday is going to be the last Sunday in the month of... Month of... Glory of his praise. And the power of God. Will strengthen us for greater height in the name of Jesus. Also, let's be informed and be reminded that all our services start with money due prayers on the Facebook page RCCG Praise Tabernacle Ogombo. Every Tuesday here, we meet with digging deep service that runs between the hours of 6 30 p.m. to 8 p.m. On Wednesday, we have our corporate fast and prayers, which is expedient for every member to fast and pray. Remember, fasting is another way. To invest in this kingdom. And it's our prayer that the Lord God will continue to strengthen us. On Thursday, we meet here for faith cleaning service that runs between the hours of 6 30 p.m. to 7 30, where we lay our petition before God. Prayer is also another kingdom investment. This we are very much even in the day we least expected in the name of Jesus. Friday is every last Friday we have our prayer session as a church. That runs between the hours of 9 p.m. to 11 p.m. And the Lord God will continue to answer our prayers in the name of Jesus. So, let's be informed and be reminded that 1st of October, by the grace of God, we shall be having welfare 
skill acquisition training that will run between the hours of 4:30 uh, 9 a.m. to 4:30 p.m. Registration is compulsory and the cost of registration is 2000. What are you coming to learn in that skill acquisition? You're coming to learn how to make body spray, disinfectant and air cream. The Lord God will impart us afresh and every lack will give way in the name of Jesus. Also, you want to give your support towards the children project that's going on. Please meet with the assistant pastor in person of Pastor God's will. Also, Region 51 Men Connect happens every Monday morning between the hours of 6 a.m. to 6.30 a.m. So please, let's be part of it. Let's meet on our platform as men. We have the link. And as we pray, the Lord will answer all our prayers in the name of Jesus. The generals in the house shout hallelujah. The generals in the house shout hallelujah. RCCG Region 51 Redeemers Men's Fellowship requests the presence of all general to the team stepping forward in the midst of the wind. And ministering is a very their own pastor, Pastor Sunday Akonde, and our host regional pastor is Pastor. That's a question for every general in the house. What's the name of our regional daddy? Pastor Remy Morgan. And it's our prayer that that day will be a day of an encounter for all the generals in the name of Jesus. The venue is Tabernacle of David at Elijah Bus Stop. Then also the date is 19th of October 2024. So let's be part of it. And that day, our life, we encounter the power of God in the name of Jesus. And also... Let's be informed and be reminded as our kingdom investment that on Saturday by 8 a.m. we shall be meeting in this auditorium to invest into laying of paving stone in the children's section. So please, let's be part of it. Come and invest in the kingdom and your life will experience the return of God in the name of Jesus. That may be all for this service. Let's be on our feet and let's begin to appreciate God for that which only him can do that he has done in our life. Thank him. Appreciate him. He changed it not. He's God of our salvation. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we appreciate you. We return to you all honor, all adoration. We cannot but conclude this service without referencing the presence of God in the life of everyone that joined this service for the first time. The first time and in the house. Today is your first time of coming to praise Tabernacle. Do we have anyone like that in the house? Any first time? Oh, God bless you. Please, can you move forward to the VIP section? Let's be on our feet as we begin to sing. God bless you. We need you to build this family. Don't you know you mean so much to us? Praise Tabernacle, let's declare a word of prayer into their life and let's ask God. Because this one has come today, every of their investment before now will begin to speak in their life. Because they have come into the presence of the Most High today, God will see to it that this one will be an addition to the kingdom. They will come and all that stands against them. From today, we continue to give way in the name of Jesus. Do it, O oh Lord, and let your name alone be glorified. Lord, we hand over this one to you this day. Use them for your glory and let your power surround them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. You are welcome to your father's house. Today is your first time. And after today, we want you to be part of this family. And the Lord God will establish your faith here on this atmosphere of God. And your life will experience his power in the name of Jesus. Amen. What a glorious encounter that you come in a day like this. That our daddy, the very, our own very own daddy, the APICP of... Lagos province 46 is in attendance and I'm sure he will continue to pray for you and his prayer 
We find express fulfillment in your life in the name of Jesus. Celebrate yourself like never before. And let's share the grace in fellowship. The love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. And surely, all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house forever. Amen. Shalom. Let Sunday school begin. In